So Excel and Power BI. Okay. So how can I attend two day two classes at a time at the same time? Please re uh, repeat your doubt. I didn't understand. I have taken two courses also, Power BI okay. and Excel. The okay. uh, timings of the class are same. Okay. For doubt session. So how can I attend both also? So you can ask Power BI doubt in Excel session also and Excel doubt in Power BI session also. There is no problem in that. Okay. And uh, also uh, you will have recording with you. So you can okay. pause the recordings after the class ended. So there is no problem in that. So no need to sign in for both, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Any doubt, uh, guys, you have? Afroz, Prashant, any doubts you have? Please open your camera, guys, because we are interrupting first time. So it's necessary to open the camera so that I can see your faces if you are understanding or not. Yeah, I can see some faces. Afroz, Ajit, Sharma, SS. And what about Veer Babu, Prashant Kumar, Rashmi? Uh, my it? camera is not working properly, so from the next class, I'll uh, on the I'll okay. make it repair and I'll attend. Okay, okay, no problem. So, so sorry for that. I want, so just I want to know one thing: you yeah. are taking a PowerPoint or uh, what? Because as I know, uh, Akhilesh sir is uh, uh, teaching a, a Power BI and Excel. Am I correct? Yes, yes. So I am taking yeah, Excel out today. Yeah. And today we will take one topic also for, uh, of conditional formatting. I will teach you conditional formatting in a different way. So this is very, okay. uh, this is going to be very interesting. You will love it. So oh. please be in the session for the last. So Sagar, the Power BI class where it is there? Because I have some doubt uh, related to Power BI. Okay, so I think uh, next week Akhilesh sir will be taking the classes taking the doubt classes so you can ask in that side. okay so by the time i need to wait for next week it is you it ask. is very small doubt i think you can also clear it out okay you can ask you if i will try <laughs> <laughs> yes yes let's try if possible otherwise next week we can connect again right yeah okay. ask what doubt you have? Yeah. Uh, let me share my screen so that you can understand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can share. It is showing you have disabled the screen sharing. Can you allow me? Okay, one second. I'll allow you. I think you have the permission to share this. Yes, yes, now I have permissions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My screen is visible. Yeah, it is visible. Yeah. You can see my data, right? Here. Yes, I can see that. Okay, so here I have the year top and bottom, right? The same colon uh, I have sale of last year and okay. this year also, right? Okay. And I have prepared this one through that. Now, if I want to bring the growth here against last okay. year, how okay. I can bring? You want to change the color of growth here, right? No, no, not color. I okay. want uh, here. See, it is showing last year sale and this year sale, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I want to see the growth here. 
what is the growth percentage okay you want to see the percentage what is the growth percentage right yes right okay so for that uh, you can use formula there are dex formula uh, available in power bi i didn't remember that formula at the time yes so so, so in this from here how i can add that formula formula i can add but you know i maybe yeah. uh, Achilles has shown us, but I forgot where to add the formula there in this hint. Okay, so uh, I think, I think uh, shall I speak, sir? If you allow me. Yes, yes, you can. Yeah, you you need to go in transition. Okay, after that you have to add one. Uh, where one where? Column. Transaction. Uh, After go to, where? Can you can you guide in insert, me? In insert. In uh, Go in insert. Okay. Just a second, huh? No, uh, he is saying go to transform data. Am I right? Transform, yeah, exactly. Transform, yeah. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go, go there. Okay, go, go in the uh, right side last. Yeah, I can okay. add the column. Uh, right? uh, just, uh, just do one thing. Uh, yeah, click on that. Uh, click on that. Okay, go in uh, add column. Yeah. Right. This is the no 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 Upper side. Transform. Go in home. Transform. Go in go, go in home. Yeah. It is showing uh, under home only. Add column. There would go be option to, uh, add column. Go to add column. Hello. Uh, add column. Yeah, add column is yes, that. Yes. After, after, after transform, there is a column. Add column. Upper, upper. Transform. Uh, home. Yeah, transform. Yeah, right, column. Right. yeah. Go, go to custom, custom column. Yeah. Go to custom column. Custom column is there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Middle one. No, no, no. Column from ex example. You custom column. Columns. Second number. In the left hand uh, side, you have that. Custom column. Home, home. You know, home, home. Home, home, you know, yeah, go, go down, go down, yeah, after that, after that, uh, yes, click, click on that, insert, guys, Akhilesh sir is there, oh, yeah, Akhilesh sir yeah, is yeah. there, <laughs> Akhilesh sir is there, so, uh, yeah, you have to mention, Hi, good evening, sir, uh, have to, good evening, good evening, uh, column name, right, yeah, you, you need to mention that name which you want, uh, after that, uh, uh, Akhilesh yeah, will uh, explain. I can what put the require. formula right here. Ajit, what's the question? Oh, what is the question? Yeah. My and... question was, uh, I'm having the sales of last year and this year in the same column. So I want to drive the can growth of that this? sales against last year. Can so... you consider this? Is my voice oh, no. audible properly? Yeah, 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 it is audible. Can, can you, you hear me, sir? Cancel this uh, window currently, which you are opened. Cancel. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want to save anything. Yeah. Cancel this also. Cancel this also. Yeah. Okay. Now show me the data table, the tabular view of the data. Tabular yeah. view, the left side second icon. Left side, there are small, small icons vertically. Further left. One is bar chart icon, this then one? the table icon. Okay, can I take the control? Is yes, yes. Possible? So there are three view. You... Achilles is asking to go to the terminal view. Yes. So I have the control now, Ajit. So this yeah. is icon. This is report view. That's table view, second one. So I'm clicking on the table view. This one. Can you see my mouse? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this one is the table view. 
Now let us look at the data. Okay. Do you have the data? 800,000 lines. There are so many blanks. You should clean your data while importing it. Okay, remove the blanks. Where is the data actually? Okay, we see the data. Now, which column represents date here? Date is this one. Okay. So ideally date is enough. Next is... Yeah, I put the year also, last year, this year. Okay, year groups or this one, which one? Year, year. Year. Okay, yeah. so you already classified them. Yes. You see, first you need to get rid of this blank also. Otherwise, it will create an issue. And that can be done on the Power BI uh, Power Query site. Okay, the window which we were there inside just now. Okay. But anyway, for writing the uh, calculate function, so there's a function which uh, Sagar was mentioning, I guess. The function name is calculate. And that will help you to like take some portion out of the bigger data in a particular column. Okay. okay. How do you write it? First, I will right click here and I will select a new measure. Okay. Which, uh, what is that thing which you want to count uh, or some? Growth, I guess, last year. This is the last year sale. Okay. And then uh, this year sale also. I have. What is the name of the column? Sale column or what? What's the name? Sale. Let's sell. Let me see. So first, let's calculate the normal data. That's sale. Okay. And the definition is, okay, it's clicking. You don't click. I'm just working on it. Some function and sale. Which column you are looking for? Net sales. Net sales. Okay. So I have named it as sales, which is simple summation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that I don't need to do some again and again. So I have written a function. Very simple. Okay. Now, let's do the magical part, which is bifurcation of this year or last year. Okay. So one more measure I am using. New measure. Right click. New measure. Okay. And once you see, uh, I think, section 3 and section 4 in the course, you will see these things explained properly. Okay. 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 Now, but I guess you have not uh, reached that section till now. Okay. So, yeah. this year sale, that's the name of the measure. And after equal sign, calculate function. That's a function which Sagar was mentioning. Calculate is like sum if, count if with a condition. Okay. Okay. So I'm saying calculate, then it is asking for an expression. What is that expression? Expression is nothing but any calculation which you want to do. So I will say, please recalculate my sales. I just, I have written the definition already in sales. So just recalculate the sales. Okay. So I'm using sales for the calculation. Okay. Okay, now yeah. here is a filter context. Like some if is having a filter context, right? If country is equal to this, then give me the result. Yeah. If product is equal to this, then give me the result. If time is equal to this, then okay. give me the result. So here I will mention your year column, the column which you have kept year equal this year. TY you have mentioned, right? Yes, yes. So this is how I will write this year. And press enter. Now I will show you the results. That's my way is that that's my total sale. Four nine four zero eight one seven five. 16 plus 19, okay, or maybe some blanks are also there. If I come and bring that this year sale, it is 163. You see, number is matching. Yeah. 
And similarly, let me copy this formula. Control A, Control C, and I will create one more measure. Formula bar is active again. For last year, right? And I will mention, okay, this is not this year. Last this year. Last year, that's the name. And so here also, TY will be LY. I will mention LY. Right. So now, from one single column, we have divided it into two calculations. And after that, you divide, you subtract, whatever you want to do for the growth rate. It's a simple mathematics. Right, right, right. Where is that? Last year sales. I will bring it here also. So 16. And yeah. then 33 is the last year. Is that correct? Here, numbers are different. Yes. Uh, no, here I have done the filter actually. Date to date comparison I was doing. So this year, November month until 18, I have taken the data. That's the reason it is showing different last year since. Okay, so here last... it is. Okay, it fine. has taken whole month since 33 million. That's fine. So filtering will still work. So now you have got two measures. You can write one more measure. Yeah. Write them. Okay. So if you want to see the growth rate, I will insert another measure. I will mention the name as growth percentage. Formula will be this year sales divided by minus last year sales minus one minus one. Minus one. And you can bring it here. Yes. I measure and I will click on this percentage formatting. And now if you want to filter it, you can filter it again on that same periods which you want to compare. Otherwise, it will be unfair because current year is half and the previous year is full. So that way you yes, can yes. bring okay. that comparison. So this is how calculate function will be useful, very useful to divide a particular column based on certain categorization. It can be time, it can be geography, it can be any context. Super. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Sir. Next question, guys. Sir, okay, sir, I have uh, one concern here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, sir, we can do also, if uh, we can go, uh, go in transform and add uh, custom column. After that, we can, you know, whatever you have done here, we can uh, do that way also, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong, because I have seen your- What will you write in the custom column? Like what kind of things you will do? Uh, for example, uh, we uh, we will add one co one column there, and uh, column name is growth rate, and uh, this uh, this year year sale uh, divide by last year, etc. etc. Et so uh, ca can we do that way also, sir? For this scenario, it's better to do it through measures. But we can do that also, na, sir, because I have seen your one video, so I have some idea. That's why I, I am asking. I, I, I'm afraid that we should not do that because it is a group. Okay. okay. If you do it in the data side, power query is the data side, line by line it will happen. Okay. Yes. Line by line it will come correct. Okay. Yes, that yes. Is, uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. One line is 25%, another line is 75%. Now, uh, we, we, um, aggregated picture, then 25, 75 should be summed, should be average, should be which one you will use. Yes, like? yes. Agree, agree, sir. Agree. Thank you. Yeah. And measures are always uh, like most efficient. Try to avoid the extra columns in your data sets. Okay. It's always better to do the measures. So, uh, it, yeah, which you explained uh, at the moment, uh, I think it, it, it's there in your uh, any video also, correct? Uh, so yes. that uh, because. As, yeah. Uh -huh. 
because I, I at the moment I am working on I am seeing a video only power query. That's why I don't don't have idea. Huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No, you. I think you need to start with the Power BI course also, and in that section three and four are particularly to the data models, and there mm -hmm. we have explained how to create a measure. What is the calculate function? And calculate function is super powerful. And mm -hmm. once you start using it, you will actually love it. And initially, it's so, okay. Initially, it's okay to go for Power Query or to go for additional columns. But mm -hmm. over a period of time, quickly jump into the measure side. Okay, they will be your so, best friend. Yeah, long term. I am going step by step. That's why I have started from Power Query. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Thank you. Initially, calm complete on a chair. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Huh. Next question. Anything related to Power BI? Let me know. Otherwise, I will need to drop off. I was supposed to go somewhere. That's why I asked Sagar to take it up. But then we cancel okay. it. Hi Akash, hi Sumant, hello Kumar, Sayyad, Ravi, Prashant, SS Sharma, how are you? Hi, yes, sir. I'm good. How are you? All good. Akash, what do you want to see? Tell us about it. Happy Diwali. Same to you, sir. Are you in Dubai or in India, sir? Japur, Japur. Okay, are you still in Jaipur? Huh. Okay, okay, fine. I thought you all, you already, you know, went No, to... not yet. Uh, still okay, a week. Okay. One more week. Okay, okay, fine. Yes, sir. Enjoy the vacation, sir. Huh? You're on vacation, right? I don't know. No, no, vacation. I'm not so kind of semi vacation uh, okay next question guys who is next uh, so Akles, i have a question prashant here uh, so in power bi i have just started learning power bi i have just started seeing you watching your videos mm -hmm. so uh, uh, once I try to insert a text box in the in the canvas, uh, mm -hmm. and I find it is not drag and drop. I can't uh, work, you know, play around the text box. How can we adjust the position of the text box? So you should hover your text box and then click on the top right corner. There will be three dots. Click, try to click on that area, and then you will be able to drag and drop. Uh, I tried that, but it is not working. Let's yes. let me find there are four corners. There are four corners only. Huh. So let me open a file and then I will try to show. The rest of the charts are uh, able to drag and drop. But ah, also there text. is no header now. That's why <laughs> how to select it. In the text box, mm -hmm. there is no header. So it's difficult. Take I will show you. Not an issue. My file is opening, so some time it will take. Uh, okay. next question, please. Sir, cameras are off. Uh, cameras are off. Only okay. Ajit is following the code. Rashmi, Sumanth, Akash. Hi, Akilesh, sir. Hello. How are you? I am good. I am good. Where is your camera? Yeah, that's what I when I told to sir also. It it's a problem today. I'll from the next class I'll on this is my first class actually. No problem. I remember yeah. you joined last week only. Okay. Okay. Sir, I'm Kumar. Yes, Kumar. What oh, sir. Is it? sir, sir um, I want to calculate the percentage from this 34 from this 40, sir, in, in pivot table. You joined from pivot table or power BI? This is uh, pivot table, sir. Pivot table. So pivot yes, table, sir. how did you calculate the profit percentage there in the workshop? Go to pivot table, analyze at the top. Yes, sir. OK. Um, Do you see that fields, items, and sets? Not there. Fields, items, and sets. Yes, sir. 
okay uh, calculated field that's where you can divide the two columns but because it is sir actually this text column sir this one text I'm, column yes yes i am taking this value from here sir this count this tl the silver this count is this one do you have power pivot no sir uh, no, no i didn't have power pivots i have but i didn't use here power pivots okay let's try one thing uh, go to pivot table analyze calculate the field based on the column let's see fields items and set calculated fields type to file count or uh, file count column name it as file count okay and it should be count type count Yeah. And then select that field which you are counting. Double click, close the bracket, and click OK. Let's see what comes. If it shows forty, then we are good. No. Okay. It, again, go back to the same formula: fields, items, and sets. Uh, what did you click? Go back again. If you say equal and proposal number, what will come? Can you click on that? Yeah, proposal number. Click OK. Click OK. Zero is come. How do you count without the power? Okay, I will tell you solution. Okay, let's create another pivot table. New pivot table, not this one. Another pivot table. Yeah, from this data, insert. Not your yeah, pivot table, and don't forget to select the last option. Add these two data models. Can you send me this file? This file, actually, this file is updated by Power Query, sir. But can you send me this file? I can show you different options. Is it possible? No, sir. It is not possible, sir. Not possible. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, go to Home tab. Right click. At the top, Home tab, right click, customize the ribbon. Let's activate the power pivot. Here, add-ins, left side, second last item, left side, left side. The menu, general formula, last second last option. Now, even more left. Currently, customize ribbon is selected, right? Below that. Sir, further left. Further left. This is right. Here, not right. right. Left. Extreme left. Extreme left. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Second last icon. Second last. Add-ins. Yeah. Click on that. Add-ins. Jada click kar diya. Okay, and at the bottom there is manage icon, right? Manage Excel add-ins. Drop down me jao and select com add-ins. Com add-ins. Bottom, 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 drop bottom. down. Bottom, drop down. Bottom, most drop bottom. down. Excel add-ins. No, no. Middle here. Yeah. Yes, com add-ins. Second one. Yes. Go. And select power pivot. Third, fourth icon, fourth checkbox. Click OK. Click OK.
okay okay sir. power pivot will appear you might have to close uh, yeah it is appearing at the top click on that power pivot click on manage so this is one time uh, requirement only to enable it after that it will stay okay okay sir. so in this manage you can write similar formulas which you are able to write in power bi okay so it will be okay. very easy to count and then you can further divide them okay so okay, maximize it okay so do you see there is a top area which shows the data and there is a bottom area which shows the calculations there you can write the calculations so where is that proposal column okay click on the proposal column and here okay go down somewhere at the blank space in the bottom blank part <coughs> select any bottom blank part it's not selecting no there is a gray line at the bottom last three four lines are empty right Click on the bottom most yes. row. It's the bottom control. Oh no. Further down, further down. Further down. There is a gray line. Gray line. Down, down, down. Yeah. Even yes, below this line. Below this line. Yeah. Select any cell. Below this line, select, select any cell. cell. Huh. Yeah. Now come into the formula bar. Okay. Type a function. What was the uh, field count, right? Type the name. Type any name, whatever you wanted to name it, right? There were two calculations you want to divide, right? Okay. Type the name of the first one. Colon. Colon. No, before the equal colon sign. Shift and semicolon. Press shift and semicolon. Ah, equal sign. And then you can say count, count A, count A, open bracket and select proposal column. In fact, you can select anything, right? You are just counting proposal, close the bracket, enter. And this will give you one number. Similarly, you can create one more calculation. Okay. What was the other one? That is the um, last product. Okay. But how was the count different for two items? Normal count sir, will be same. This is the overall count, sir. This is file count. In that, so, so, sometimes they will uh, put the. Uh, Insurance for some files, some files that we put in insurance. Sir. That is last product is insurance. Can you show me the pivot table again? The first pivot table which you have already created. Where is the first pivot table? Your initial pivot table. Is it sheet one or where? Yeah, this one. Okay. So here, what is file count? What are you doing in the file count? This is the overall file count, 40 number. In that for in this 40 number, 34 numbers are they, they put insurance. Remaining six numbers they didn't put also. Where is this number mentioned? Like 40. How did you get? How did you create it? This is the the, the overall uh, proposal numbers of this one. This. Then 34 Kassara because normal count uh, pivot table will give same number for the low. How 34 is coming out of 40? How did you calculate 34 here? Which is 34, sir? Against 40, there is a 34, right? On the 36. Next, next one, Mulli. Focus on Mulli. This one, sir. Yes, how did 34 
show me in the data how did 34 came and how 40 came and then i will tell you the formula 34 is a count of product name okay he's got the text in it. but the pivot table the way it counts it will be same 40 or 40 or 34 or 34 pivot doesn't differentiate whichever column you will bring it shows the row count i am curious to know how he is changing 40 and 34 i think it uh, there are some blank of of the vast count no still in some numeric element somewhere Otherwise, it will come 40, same number. See, here the vast product name, it is showing blank. There, there, is a, there is a difference in the count. There it's are like some blank. Vast product name, na? so there are some blanks present in vast product name. Blank space will not come. OK, then let's go to the power pivot window again. Write another function, and this time count A was product, whatever was that column. Colon equal. Colon is the only differentiating factor between Power BI and Excel, otherwise formula is same. Okay. In Power BI, we don't need to mention colon. Here we need to mention colon. Count A. Count A is used for counting text. If you use just count, it will only count the numbers. Okay, was product name. Type more, it will come. Count A, open the bracket. Type, type, start typing, it will come in the list. Was. Close the bracket. Enter. What is the result? Two ninety eight. Create a third one. Take the ratio, whatever you want it to do. Okay, now we have got two elements, right? Yes, Take sir. the third one and these three things which you are calculating. Okay, let's uh, create the third one also. Percentage or whatever name you want to give, just name it in the formula bar. Type was product. Yeah. Divide by field count uh, T underscore something, right? T underscore. Yeah, press enter. Click on the percentage at the top. Percentage formatting at the top, middle, top. Middle, middle, middle. Yeah. Okay. And now these three will be added to your field list in the pivot table. Go to the pivot table. Minimize this. Minimize this. Sheet 2, minimize and sheet 2, are you able to minimize, minimize, just click on the minimize icon on the top right, Okay, sir. Huh. now go to sheet 2 here, the blank paper table, not here, this will, this is the old one, huh. if you see, go down, go down. Do you see where, where are those calculations? Somewhere those calculations will appear. Click on all. Click on all. Currently it is active. Click on all. And we created it in which table? Percentage. What is the table? Disperse tables. If we open disperse data or disperse table, whichever was that. Go to at the end. No, just search T underscore health, whatever you name, search. So you used login data. You created it in login data. Do you see that okay. FX? Okay, okay. Sir. You created. Okay, okay. Sir. But whatever you have created, they will be there. 
and you can start using them with the pivot table fields. Okay, it is these things are also known as measures. Okay, we created the measures in Excel Power Pivot. Okay, okay. now can you stop sharing? I will help with that uh, text box thing. Yes, sir. And please prepare a sample file so that we can do it faster. Whatever I was showing you, I could have done it in one or two minutes. Because the file was not available, we were going slow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me know once my screen is visible. Can you see Power BI file? Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay. So let's say I want to insert a text box. I am minimizing this. I will go to insert and that's my text box. This is the text box and I have typed something. When I click outside, do you see the boundary of text box is there? Yeah. But if you click inside, you cannot move it because you get into the editing mode. So where should you should click so that you can move? These three dots are there, right? Okay. Click on the line and these three dots in between that. Okay. Okay. And from there, you can easily move. Um, got it, got it, got it. Okay. This one is a little bit tricky. Otherwise, everything else is easy because they have a dedicated header. Okay. And nothing editable there. So that's why it's easy for them. Here, also no issues because it is all not editable. This thing is editable. So we get into the editing mode. Okay. So okay. only through the header, we will be able to move. There's another way which I can show. Uh, so when we go into the formatting, this is general. And if you go into the properties, okay, this is the height, this is the position width. But if you go into the position, this is horizontal position, this is vertical position. Okay. Now horizontal position means that may be zero. The leftmost side is zero. If I put zero, you see it has moved to the leftmost side. Okay. If I say, let's say uh, something like 400. It has moved at this position. So maybe through the coordinates also, you can decide where to keep it if you are not able to select it. Selection is quite easy. But if let's say for some reason it is not able to uh, get selected, then you can play around with this. Original position 400. Let me make it something like uh, zero. And then I want to keep it just below this sales summary. So top is known as zero position. So I will say uh, 50. So you see, it has just come below my existing header. Okay. okay. Let me increase to 70. So now there is no overlapping. And size, mm -hmm. height, I will reduce to 50. So that way also I can play around. But that is too technical. I like mm -hmm. this. Okay. Move like that. And this mouse is very handy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Next. Uh, shall I share my screen, sir? I have one. Yes, question. you can share. Yeah. What's the question? Just a second, sir. It's coming. Okay. Today I have installed sir in my personal laptop M365. When I'm opening it, it's uh, giving me this error, sir. So do you have an idea, sir? Okay, how can I solve it? No, I don't have any idea. Uh, okay. Let me start the laptop. Okay. And uh, another one is, sir, if I have here uh, 50,000 or 40,000. So if I want uh, in uh, tax, uh, so how can I do that, sir? Do I need to go in add-ins and do something or how, how can I uh, take uh, 
tax means uh, 40 40000 40, uh, in uh, tax uh, you know f o u r 40000 uh, so how can we do that uh, in excel sir yeah so you need a function a very long function or a macro okay and on my youtube channel uh, there is a macro already for this let me try to find okay. it quickly if possible until then i, I have uh, seen somewhere but i i forgot uh, that uh, that time i was official laptop uh, that's a proxy blocked uh, by my company so uh, now i have a personal laptop so uh, so that is what i am asking how can i be able to write it? i don't remember it there are two solutions to it there is a very long formula someone created it and there is a macro code wo bhi microsoft ki website se mil jata hai i have already created a video on this because this was very frequently coming to me so usme sare links wagera de rakhe hain maine okay okay so i will find it and then share okay fine sir ha mere youtube channel pe hai you are already there on the youtube channel just search for the field it it should be a bigger video okay i will find it in some time next it would be great if you share link so that i will check sir because uh, i have seen your video on uh, four three video about power query hmm okay but uh, not got uh, okay no problem i will check okay next question Hi sir. Hi. Ah uh, sir, I have not received the Office three sixty five software. Okay, just write an email to uh, support at datasense dot com. They will provide. Sure, sure. Okay. They have provided the number for that person, but that person is not receiving the call, sir. No, just mail it so that anybody can respond. Okay. No. Okay. because they may be busy they might be traveling okay okay, okay. thank you welcome uh, i found the video i will share it in the whatsapp group oh. afroz i have shared it in the excel okay whatsapp group. Yeah, yeah yeah okay sir i was on mute <laughs> sorry okay fine fine theek hai next question i am sharing it in this group also youtube link it is having both formula method as well as the macro method copy paste mm -hmm. okay next no questions khatam kare Sure, sir. I am good. Everyone good? Yes, sir. Good for today. Okay, then see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Akash.